guys i want to show you how to deploy new releases to auto scaling group currently i have an environment where i configured auto scaling and integrated with elastic load balancer and what i want to primarily cover in this video is if we have next version to release how we guys roll out these updates to auto scaling group we can definitely automate this process but in this video i'm not going to focus on how to automate it but i will help you with manual approach how to release new application versions into auto scaling hopefully i will make one more video for automating this process but this video let's focus on the approach the process this is our current application uh, it is pointing to version 1 i have uh, auto scaling group configured with a launch configuration i kept minimum size 1 and maximum size is 3 and these are the instances currently in the group it is using this launch configuration now the point is i want to release next version to this auto scaling how to do that let's examine launch configuration we are currently using for this and usually launch configuration is a template which contains all the details about how to launch new instance in auto scaling group if you go to actions there is no options to edit this in sense right let's say i have a new ami creator which contains my next application version i want to replace old ami with new ami in this launch configuration but keep in mind it doesn't have options to edit launch configuration the only option we have is uh, set up a new launch configuration with new ami which contains your latest application code then go to auto scaling group edit few details replace your old launch configuration with new one after your auto scaling group is updated with new launch configuration you have to scale out when you scale out new instances launched in the group uses new launch configuration and scale down when we scale down we have to make sure it is terminating old instances let's check that yeah first step is this let's create a new launch configuration choose some ami i'm going with t2 micro to be under free tier let's name this let's call this one version 2 i don't need im role uh, in advanced details i'll put user data which is a sample script which simulates our application version 2 just i copy pasted the code the script let's make this one version 2 it simply installs httpd which is apache server it enables apache on reboot and i am just creating a sample index.html i am updating it as version 2 to identify our new version is deployed if you guys check currently it is version 1 this one i want it to be 2 storage i am leaving default and security group let's select an existing security group i am not very particular about the security firewalls let me just go with a security group which accepts all traffic review create launch configuration if you want to ssh into ec instances make sure you select a key pair right the launch configuration is created that is first step when you have a new release the very first step is to create a launch configuration these things can be automated using tools like packer to repeat this new launch configuration has our application version 2 the next step is edit your auto scaling group replace old launch configuration with new launch configuration save it this is step number 2 and step number 3 is scale out auto scaling group it's going to add new instances new instances come up using new launch configuration group let me check instances here right now we have one instance and 
this instance is created using old launch configuration. I want to terminate instances with old launch configuration and launch instances with new launch configuration. For that, what I want to do now, I want to manually scale out. I want to increase the group size. I have created a policy when average CPU utilization is greater than or equal 60, it adds instances. So we can manually perform that operation using this execute policy option. Let's keep it above 60, for example, 65, and execute that. See now, early desired capacity was 1, now it has become 3. Now, auto scaling launches two additional EC2 instances and those two going to come up with a new launch configuration. Let's wait for a while and check that. See that desired has become three. If you observe new instances launched using new launch configuration and still we have one instance which is pointing to old launch configuration to remove this one scale down and this instance should be removed. Go to scaling policies. Go to decrease group size. Execute this. And whenever it is less than 20, it performs scaling activity. See that desired capacity has come down. It's going to terminate two instances. And by default, it terminates instances using old launch configuration. Let's check that. It should take few seconds to see those updates. Let's wait and see. See here, it's terminating two instances and it's making sure it's terminating instances with old launch configuration. These are the steps we have to follow. Create new launch configuration which contains uh, latest application version. Then update auto scaling group and point to new launch configuration. That is second step. And finally perform scaling and scale out operations until you see all instances hosting new application version. So this is the approach if you want to deploy new application version into auto scaling group.